These are the young faces of those displaced in their own country. They're some of the 35,000 families who've been forced to leave their homes in Hodeida. The heat is relentless. Electricity blackouts are common. Food, water and medication are scarce. The risk of falling ill with cholera is extremely high. There are about 250 families living here and it's increasing by the day. We are calling on the local authorities and international community to support and help us. Salem Hamoud became a refugee two weeks ago when he escaped the heavy fighting in Hodeida between the Saudi-led coalition and Houthi rebels. We have many burdens. Breakfast is bread with beans. Dinner is bread with yogurt. We're suffering. The food is not enough. Cost of transportation is so high, we can't even afford to go to the nearby market. Hamoud, who says he witnessed his neighbor's children kidnapped, adds that many more family members are also trying to leave Hodeida but can't. I'm asking human rights organizations to help Yemenis. It's a miserable situation. We ask the north of Yemen to also take care of us. Many of us don't have a place to sleep. There are not enough camps, so how can we receive more people here? The world's largest humanitarian crisis just got worse in June when Saudi-led military action to take control of Hodeida intensified. Its port is the most important in Yemen, a lifeline to a country where almost 8.5 million people are on the verge of starvation. Thanks to the generosity of a local in the province of Lahj, Hamoud and his family are safe in these makeshift camps for now. But with no end in sight to the war, it's not clear when they'll be able to return home, if ever. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera.